Hello, Charles here, our baby chuck 419 on my social medias. Uh, today I want to go over balance to roll and roll to balance. Um, it would be very helpful if you check out my last balance tutorial. We cover how to balance the hoop on your hand and then a couple different combinations. But pretty much you just want to set the hoop on your hand and you're going to spot it and focus. So go check out that video and then come back and revisit this. All right, so for this balance, balance to roll, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the outside of the hoop. So for me, I'm gonna look at the darker blue part. And then you can also spot here, but for me, I like to take the spot here. That way I can make sure that it's aligned with my arm and my wrist. So we want it lined up like so. It will start to turn. So if it starts to turn, what I will do is I'll turn with it, right? Or if it turns that way, I'll turn with it to align it. If you Think of keeping it with your middle finger here or on this there or middle finger or there then it should be able to roll up the arm how it how it would so what you want to do is you want to start from your balance I like to start facing this way at first it helps to turn and then open up and then once I'm here and I have it balanced I'm going to turn and then I'm going to roll it right so just practice balancing it, then grabbing it and opening and pushing, right? So that is a quick little modification. But what we want to do is we want to get rid of that grab out of it. So one more time, I'm going to balance it. I can roll it to balance. I've just set it there. Get it in line with me. And then open my chest and go. So balancing it and open my chest and push and lift that arm up. And then the rest is just controlling the roll. So here we go. Balance, up, push, roll. There we go. That is your balance to roll. So once again, you can start here or you can start here. It's just easier to have the hoop in front of you. So if I have the hoop in front of me, then I'm gonna open up and I'm gonna lift this arm up and open my chest and let it roll. All right, remember, keep that roll nice and long. Lengthen out, try to resist going to grab the hoop and shortening that roll. So here we go. You can roll up to balance, and it's aligned. And now I'm just gonna lift that arm and open my chest. There, that's pretty much all there is to it. Those are some helpful tips, or just make sure you're focusing on the hoop. I like to switch if I'm spotting the outside, the inside of the hoop, I like to switch to spotting the outside of the hoop so I can make sure that my alignment is there. It's aligned, middle finger or middle of the hand, it's gonna align with my wrist and roll up that forearm and roll it through my chest. Stay connected to the hoop the whole time. That is the, the nice part of balances. They help you feel how you should actually be when you're doing the chest roll, right? You should be resisting a little bit and pressing into the hoop. So you have to lift this arm a little bit and then let it roll down. All right, now the next one we're gonna cover is a little bit tricky. It's a roll to balance. So for me, I'll do that with my same arm. I need to work on it with my bat, with my other arm a little bit more. So for now, I'm just gonna teach it rolling from the left. So that means I'm gonna do the opposite side chest roll. I'm gonna do a chest roll going from my left arm to my right arm. And now this time when it gets over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift my arm a little and I'm gonna go under it and balance it there. All right, so here we go. We're gonna roll and then under. It's a little tricky at first. Try not to lose my hoop over into the water. So, one more time, rolling and then balance. Roll underneath, there we go. And you want to stay focused and then remember if I'm spotting the inside of the hoop I'm going to switch my spot to the outside of the hoop and then lift and roll not the cleanest chest roll but if you keep working on them you will get them if you have any questions whatsoever just um, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can so tips for roll to balance 
remember we want to go under it. You can lift your arm a little bit, but then you want to go underneath as it reaches there to the fingertips. Sometimes it gets a little bit scary because you can balance at the end of your fingertip, you can balance here, or you can balance there. It's all about how you cushion and connect with the hoop. So a nice controlled roll. Roll. <laughs> so a nice controlled roll. And then just reach and grab, right? Reach and grab. Slow that roll down. And then don't grab. Just cushion underneath it and balance there. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you check out some of my other tutorials. I've been going through a whole row series. For now, I'm probably going to be breaking down into row techniques just like this, balance to roll, um, spinning rolls, a lot of rolly things. All right. And then also, I'm still doing acro hoop tricks as well. So um, thanks for watching. Give this a like, share it, um, show some support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You um, let me know how it goes. All right. Bye.